we're seeing dramatic increases in the use of uh, these vaping devices and products among um, high school students. Uh, that um, uh, increase uh, is showing that about uh, a quarter of students now are using the, these devices and we're seeing that use is actually appearing in the middle school and even in some, there are some reports of children in uh, elementary school getting a hold of and using these devices. And this is despite, uh, despite the fact that we have um, uh, prohibitions on the purchase of nicotine by children, the use of nicotine by children, because we understand uh, that uh, nicotine is a very addictive stu substance. It, uh, for far too many people, leads to lifelong addiction. Uh, half of the people who get involved with this substance will die from uh, nicotine-related, uh, as, as a result of a nicotine-related death. And so the question for before us today in this committee is whether or not seeing and understanding the, the real uh, and present danger that these devices and their use pose uh, to youth, these flavors in particular are designed to attract use. One of the major products, uh, the 75 percent of the persons who use them are uh, of a young age. And uh, we can either decide to sort of go along with big tobacco and join in or at least stand by as they addict another generation of persons to nicotine, uh, a, a, an addiction which will uh, kill uh, many of them. And so my, what, what I'm urging that this committee do uh, is uh, to follow suit with what a few governors have done across the country uh, to ban these substances, uh, that we do that here uh, in statute here in New Jersey. Uh, because and I hope driven by an overarching concern, and, and it should be overarching, uh, to prevent big tobacco from addicting another generation of persons uh, to a substance which will kill, ultimately kill, uh, half of them.